What's up, fellas? It's your boy Swain, and I am back with another video, man. And hey, you know, today's topic is gonna be seven, you know, signs that she is, you know, a good woman to build with. Now, the reason I'm making this video and I'm bringing this content to you guys, man, is because I don't want people to overconsume the red pill and feel or think as if a woman doesn't add value. You know what I'm saying? Because in actuality, man, you know, if a woman is not toxic. And if she is a good woman, she can make you better. She can help you to reach pinnacles and levels in your life, man, that um, you never thought you could reach. Because what a woman is designed for is to be a helpmate and add peace to your life. And in that peace, you can grow and cultivate, you know, what you want to cultivate, man. And, you know, it's kind of a misconception, I believe, in this manosphere and this red pill community because, you know, a lot of people think that what I talk about is just, you know, women in general. And the only thing that I would say that's universal about the stuff that I talk about is hypergamy. All women are hypergamous by nature. They can't help that. But what I talk about most of the time is the dark side of female nature because it wasn't taught to us. You can't go nowhere and learn female nature and about hypergamy. They don't teach you that in school. Your mom and dad didn't teach you that. Pastors don't teach you that. Nobody teaches you that. You learn that on your own through failures because you had that lack of knowledge. So you fail with women and shit like that. And then you find out the hard way in a lot of cases. That's how a lot of men even become red pill. Two things is going to red pill you. A woman or being broke as fuck. That's what's going to red pill you, bro. Because both of them are going to show you the true nature. Um, and the truth about yourself in society. You feel me? But what I got here today, man, is seven signs that she is a good woman to build with, right? The first thing is, fellas, is that she is feminine with you, man. You know, if a woman is feminine with you, this is this is her basically saying she respects you. Because women are only disrespectful to men that they don't, I mean, are only masculine with men that they don't respect. You know what I'm saying? So she can't help but be masculine because she feels like you're a little bitch. She feels like she's better than you. She feels like she's above you. So she's going to talk to you crazy, you know, uh, hang up in your face, um be very mouthy and argumentative and it's just going to be very problematic whenever you dealing with a chick like this because she's going to challenge your masculinity every second she get because she doesn't respect it so that's one of the number one telltale signs that a woman is genuinely into you and, a, and this is a sign that you can build with this woman is because she's going to be extremely feminine and in her feminine energy when she's with and around you all right the next thing is fellas that she's going to be logical in her thinking she's going to be very logical in her thinking you know, a, a, a woman that's logical in her thinking you can build with because you can make calculated decisions with them. You know, most women are very emotional. It's hard for them to make logical decisions because they they a woman thinks how she feels. However she feels in that moment, that's how she's going to think. That's how she's going to react. That's going to determine her actions. You want a woman that can separate fantasy from reality. And if she can do that, she can make logical uh, decisions and she's logical in her thinking, then y'all can build. The next thing is, fellas, she'll invest in your potential, man. You want a woman that's going to invest in your potential, a woman with vision, okay? Because here's the thing. All women are hypergamous. Every woman is hypergamous, but if she has vision with her hypergamy, then she can see you being the winner that she wants and that she desires because all women desire winners. This is why I tell you guys, it's not in a man's benefit to date a woman seriously when he's in this grind phase because most women don't respect the man trying to win the race they only respect the man that won a woman that has vision a woman that believes in your potential she gonna be in the gym shooting with you remember that song you won with me when i was shooting in the gym well this woman who is good to build with she will be there with you while you getting up shots in the gym like the last video i posted guys i played a clip of a woman who said if she worked for con edison and she was an electrician, she wouldn't She wouldn't smash the other electrician. She would only smash the CEO or the supervisor because she wants a man that's above her level. That's hypergamy. But the difference between a woman who was good to build with versus a woman who is not good to build with is that that woman who is uh, good to build with, she's still hypergamous, but she has vision with her hypergamy. She can still see the good in you. So she's not going to worry about smashing the CEO or the or the supervisor because her vision is to is to help you become him 
And you don't want a woman that's going to see a vision for you. You want a woman who's going to help you achieve the vision that you have for yourself. That's the difference, okay? The next thing is, fellas, she'll respect your grind. She's going to respect your grind. There's no if, and, and buts about it. And what I mean is she will never expect you to put her over your grind. Because your grind is all about your legacy. I told you the type of woman you have on your arm determines your legacy. And a lot of times, a lot of men never really reach their full potential because that woman that's on their arm is dead weight. She never respected his grind. And I've dealt with women like this who didn't respect my grind, you know what I'm saying? And I just cut them off. If I got to wake up early in the morning, but you don't give a fuck about that and you want to be up with me smashing you all night just because you want to get a nut, you don't care about what I got to do, then you only care about what's in your best benefit. You cannot deal with a chick who tempts you and wants to basically um, bring things to you that are not going to be in your best benefit for, you know, um, whatever goal or whatever you have at hand. So vet these women and make sure that she doesn't interfere with your grind because a good woman, she's going to make sure you on top of your goal. She's going to remind you, like, if you're a bodybuilder and you're working out in the gym or you're doing something like that, she's going to be like, and you you want to go out and party, she's going to be like, hey, remember your goal, you know, drinking probably ain't the best thing for you right now. And this is not her being masculine. This is her just saying, damn, baby, you know, I'm trying to keep you on your... She's going to do whatever she can to make sure you stay on your path of becoming the best version of yourself. That's what I'm trying to say. The fifth thing is, fellas, she's going to make life more convenient for you. You know what I'm saying? If you are you a businessman and you take a lot of business trips, this type of chick is going to act as a secretary in a way, man. She'll book your tour road, book your Airbnb, book your flight, and you ain't got to do anything. She'll be like, babe, this is already booked. All you got to do is wake up and catch your flight and go. You want a woman in your life who's going to act as a secretary, especially when you in grind mode. Because what she's doing is, once again, she's showing you that she's investing in your potential. And one of the things you can do, fellas, is delegate tasks to your girl. If you got a business or something on the side and maybe you need to go get some papers faxed or maybe you need to get some papers or documents on, <clears throat> excuse me, this chick who's investing in you, she's going to make sure that happens for you. Maybe she's going to make sure your, your, your to-do list is up to par. Maybe she's going to make sure your, your calendar or, or and, and everything is um, planned out accordingly or properly. Or, you know, maybe she'll fax or email or do things like that or answer phone calls. So whatever it is you got going on. She will make your life easier. Maybe maybe you work out. You're a bodybuilder. She preps your meals. You just want to make sure that the woman that you are dating makes your life more convenient instead of taking away from you, okay? The next thing is, fellas, she's a, she does not post on social media for attention. See, what I often find is that I see a lot of these guys in relationships with their girls and, and women and shit like that and... You go look on their Instagram or their girl's Instagram and it's nothing about they dude on their Instagram. It's nothing about business on her Instagram. She has no purpose. Her only purpose is seeking male attention and validation. You know what I'm saying? You know, these women that bend over all day in the camera, showing their titties all day. They're not influencers. They're, they're, they don't have no type of business networking with their Instagram. They're simply doing it for attention only. Women like this, man, or, or me, you know good because she's an attention whore. You understand? And a woman that's an attention whore, your attention will never be enough. So the reason she'll make your life problematic is because she will constantly be seeking attention from other women. And you, and she, I mean, from other men. And she'll say dumb shit like Steph Curry's wife. Other men aren't paying attention to me. Why the fuck is you worried about that? You got a dude who's a 1% male, one of the top NBA players in the league. He's a fucking millionaire, very successful, and you worried about other dudes. Some women, man, these women you cannot please when they are attention whores. You can never do enough to please them. Yo, yo bitches, she fixed calculator screens, but she posted ass and titties. What the fuck does that got to do with anything? Now, if your woman maybe sells bikinis or she has a clothing line or a lingerie line or something like that, and she's posting to draw attraction to her brand, that's different. But if it's just a woman just posting, she's seeking attention because she doesn't, she really don't value you. A woman that doesn't value you and a woman that is not really into you, she will constantly be on the prowl you know, maximizing her hypergamous nature to find a mate that she really wants to be with or that she's really into. And you see that all the time. You end up finding these, these type of dudes and relationships with these women mate guarding. Mate guarding is basically you worried about who your girl talking to, where your girl going, why she liking this dude's Instagram, why she... You know what? You got to be confident, first of all, fellas. And that's what I always tell y'all, man. I date girls and they wear things, ass out, titties out if we go out and they like, you know... um. Why don't you care? Cause you know what? I ain't, I'm not worried about that shit. Cause in my mind, shit, I'm 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 the top option. 
you you lost if you don't want to fuck with me. That's the mindset I got. I, I ain't worried. I can't worry about that. And one thing as a man, bro, you can't be worrying about what these chicks is doing. Because a woman going to do what she going to do. You just got to vet her based off what she shows you. If she continues to do this and do this and keep seeking male attention, this ain't the type of chick you want to wife up, man. You can you can fuck her. You can She can be a fun girl. You can have a good time with her. But I would definitely never build anything with a woman that's an attention whore. That shit's going to be problematic in the future. And the last thing is, fellas, she's going to match your rhythm. Meaning that y'all going to be on the same page. And a lot of the times, men aren't, a, a, men aren't on the same page as their woman. Because their woman is not um, matching their rhythm. You know what I'm saying? Y'all rhythm ain't matched. And and a lot of times, that's because the, of, of the off balance. Like I told y'all in the beginning, if a woman is not in her feminine with you, then she's in her masculine. How the fuck you gonna be masculine and she masculine too? Y'all 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 rhythmic wave don't match. That's why it's never gonna work. You gotta be with a woman who who respects you enough to uh, to to follow your lead and trust you. When you do that, she's not going to challenge the decisions you make. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to call her and be like, you know, this is what we doing. And she got a whole total other plan and agenda that doesn't benefit neither one of y'all, man. That's the number one telltale sign. Well, one of the number one telltale signs of a woman is for you. Y'all rhythmic wave is going to be in sync, bro. And ain't nothing you can do about this. Either, either it is or it ain't. That's what the Bible be talking about. And, and I'm not religious, but I just bring up the Bible because it's a it's a familiar text for most people. When the Bible says you got to be evenly yoked, it's just talking about, bro, y'all got to be on the same rhythmic wave. Y'all have to be on the same type of shit, pretty much. Because if you got one agenda, she got a totally different agenda. That shit ain't going to never work, man. And you can't build with a woman that's not trusting enough to follow your lead. You understand what I'm saying? But that's pretty much it for the video, fellas. I had to make this video, though, because <clears throat> a lot of guys, you know, um, consume this red pill knowledge and then they forget the the value and the place of a woman and the reason women were even created. It's a reason that the Bible says, you know, Eve came from Adam's rib. Right. And once again, I'm not religious. I, I'm not even into none of that. But the parables in the Bible are very relatable to 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 um, life today. What that was simply saying is that a woman is your helpmate. She brings peace. If you get it, she was a piece of Adam, a piece of his rib. That woman's supposed to bring peace to you. That woman is supposed to bring nurturing to you. She's supposed to make your life better by adding convenience to it. And see, this list that I just named, you'll be surprised how many women don't even understand this. And a lot of women today, this is why a lot of them don't become wives because they don't know how to be. They don't know what men want. You know what I'm saying? So videos like this got to be created. A lot of women don't even understand this list that I just told y'all. They, they, If you ask a woman what does she bring to the table, I promise you she ain't going to name none of the shit on this list. Well, you know, I'm, I'm a good woman. I can cook. Um, I can clean. Oh, yeah, that's all well and good. I can cook and clean for myself. But how else are you going to help me become a better person? How am I going to reach a, a um, um, higher level in my life by being with you? Because to keep it a buck, fellas... And I know I said that's it for the video, but whatever. To keep it 100 with you, man, a lot of the times, being with most of these women brings no value to your life. You don't get nothing out of dating a lot of these women. And outside of, of her, you know, giving you children, a lot of women you don't even really need, though. Unless you want kids, man. Be, being in a long-term relationship with a lot of these women is pointless because they don't understand their place. <clears throat> they don't understand to bring peace. They don't understand the helpmate side of being a woman. You understand what I'm saying? But that's it for the video, fellas. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, man. If you like this video, man, I want to hear what y'all think down in the comment section. But that's it for the video, fellas. Until next time.